Hello, hello. This is a session that I like to explain a little bit more about my assignment and the expectations. Well, first of all, you need to have a con table of content, right? Just make sure you have one uh, based on a scenario like this, okay, or the scenario that is being given to you, right? And uh, you can start off with a network design, a network topology, which you can actually use uh, any uh, drawing tools, okay, especially like drawing.io to draw such a network layout, a network diagram that looks like this, right? Or you could also draw it in this manner, okay, like this, okay, showing the various type of network topology such as the mesh network, the star network, the bus network, right? So you are supposed to illustrate uh, as much different type of network uh, design as possible, okay, and be able to justify justify uh, each of these uh that network diagram that you have chosen, right? And uh, it could be as simple as this, okay. So so this is uh the various type, okay, that's showing the different network diagram for the different schools or different net uh department. Right, and you can even put the IP address uh, if you deem uh, you know how to design them. Okay, showing the various subnet and properly uh, divided. Okay, in a logical manner. Right, some of you might want to draw the floor plan. Okay, so this is uh, you can base on your own assumption and design. Make sure you have some other varieties of a room such as meeting room. Uh, sales department, okay, uh, printer room, file data center, uh, server center, okay, whichever you can think of appropriate to an organization. You can also uh, come up with some budgetary, uh, budgetary tables, okay, uh, with uh, the number of equipments or devices that's necessary, okay, based on the requirements that's given to you, okay. So spec out the appropriate uh, computer or laptop or printer devices, uh, especially the necessary network devices such as the routers, the wireless access point, uh, and try to uh, work your budget, okay, uh, based on the requirements given, okay, and if you can uh, total that up, that would be good. Uh, you might want to have a section on IP addressing such as this, so I leave it to your uh, discretion to come up with a clear and concise kind of uh, addressing tables or subnetting that you use, okay? And given the appropriate IP address, okay, to the various uh, servers, okay, as well as the, whether it's going to be a fixed statics IP addressing or is it a dynamic IP addressing, right? So uh, for every network topologies that you come up with, uh, if you can, uh, try to explain them okay, and justify uh, the design that you came up with, right? And some of you might go into like certain demilitarized zone, okay, uh, where you have an internal and fire, uh, external firewall and what you're gonna put uh, within this demilitarized zone, right? You can highlight the demilitarized zone uh, such as this diagram over, uh, in, in case your diagram get too big, okay, to be shown in one diagram, you can also segment them into smaller diagram and zoom in on the details, right? Like the reason for using a demilitarized zone and then the network okay, diagram that's been chosen. You can also uh, explain the appropriate uh, server that you're going to use, such as the DHCP, proxy server, web server, a short description uh, will be also uh, expected. Okay, so to illustrate that you understand uh, the different servers, okay, providing the relevant services to your organizations. Okay, what it meant for, so you can talk about VPN server, DNS server, DHCP server, okay, web server, file server, email server, whatever thing that is necessary, right, for a typical organizations, right? 
So, uh, so then you have, uh, you can even have authentication server such as a radio server uh, to be able to capture all the user credential. <coughs> right, database server, even redundancy uh, network design. <coughs> right, I leave it up to you. Right, uh, I think the budget is given to you. Try to use as much as possible. And then you can have a section on just the network <coughs> routers design uh, the different models. Uh, try to use a variety of them. Don't just use one particular brand, right? As uh, it's also uh, good to be able to show that you are aware, okay, of the different devices, okay, and appropriate devices or brand devices that you can make use of huh, all the way to smart TV, okay? Anything like IoT devices that you deem is necessary, such as security cameras, wireless security cameras, uh, smart fridge okay, for, the, for the pantries, and the truck. So think of a modern campus or modern organizations that you can build. So you can uh, bring in whatever knowledge that you know, okay, whether okay, you learn from somewhere in other institutes and bring it over here and do put in some wireless uh, access point if possible, right? Uh, don't re over recommend too much of the wireless access point, right? So uh, so you can see there's quite a long list of uh, devices that you can actually research and take note of. Right, so uh, these are just some of them, and you can see there are also other network design. I'm not saying some of these network design or, or diagrams that you have seen are correct uh, or appropriate, but just showing a typical some uh, typical some some of the submission that was previously submitted, and you can see there are also uh, IP addressing. Okay, that is given. Uh, if you deem that you can put it there and show uh, that you know how to design some of these, yes, wherever appropriate, please indicate them, but don't do such a small print that it becomes very difficult to read them, right? You can even set up your own MIS server, right? Management Information System or Account Department, I mean Department. So uh, be creative in your design and your offering, right? So uh, lastly, of course, you can, uh, okay, other than the this mini, mini try design that you've seen earlier, you also describe about the, the firewall. <coughs> you can even zoom in at the appropriate department and justify your design that you have come up with, right? So, right, so, um, yeah. So these are just some, ways that you can do your report and uh, present your proposal, right? So, and we can even talk about VPN uh, connectivity, uh, if you know how to set it up and if you know how to deploy it, right? So a proposal like this will be good and comprehensive. And there you have another table that basically represent the different uh, subnet masking and the, the host ID as well as the network ID that you have. Uh, come up, you can show some working so to basically illustrate your know how so that appropriate uh, marks okay, are given to you, right? So, and now, lastly, uh, you, some of you might even come up with a summary table such as this uh, uh, VLSM table, variable land submit mask. Uh, so, you can design it this way. Okay, um, so these are some budgeting view tables and the summary and show a total amount of balance sheet that would be good. You can add in, insert some diagrams, okay, pictures of the devices, okay, so that you know exactly what is it and what's the unit price, what's the total price and the quantity and that's required based on the uh, specs given to you, right? So um, yeah, that's more or less uh, about all about all the expectations. Of course, if you have better template and better ways of presenting some of this uh, network design or proposal, okay, yeah, feel free, okay, 
this is just a guide and not everything here absolutely correct okay but um yeah just do whatever it is necessary as well as in that's correct okay okay so over and out